Okay, morning guys. Welcome to day four of week five of the Guildford City Fitness live stream. Uh, thanks again. I almost love Thursdays at the minute um, because Wednesday's jumping test really gets people inspired and they share so many results. So keep it coming. Like people are like, again, I've obviously I've got a bias towards that sort of training anyway. So I really like seeing you guys like share that too, especially when it comes to improving starts. Who doesn't want a more explosive start? Uh, if you didn't, I hope you've got some time to look at Kate's talk around time management. So for you, you younger ones, because that like that ship sailed for for me a little bit, learning how to organise your time. Um, it, but it helps you, and it definitely helps your parents, like learning how to organise what you're doing. Um, it makes everyone happy. So have a go. It's like 15 minutes long, but some really useful practical takeaways for you to get on board with. Today's warm up is number one. So you've got bean game at the end. So Get, get your hands warmed up, ready to fire in those comments to see what, but bear in mind, you have to do what you recommend as well before you ever start firing off front of me, Lee Spinlow. And we're gonna get going. So, dorsal pressing to sit back. Make sure you've got a drink, make sure your area is ready. You don't need any equipment apart from yourself. Maybe a mat to protect your hands. Um, and it's aerobic conditioning. So, maybe a bucket, but it wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> so, dorsal pressing to sit back, six of them. Let's get going together. So, we've got morning from Manon, morning from Sam, morning from Kara, morning from Charlie, morning from Yash, morning from Edith, from Morgan, Manon, from the Redhead Boys, from B, Climb and from Grace. <laughs> morning from Sienna. Ugh. Good morning, Sienna. You get the, you get the, the single call out because it's a much shorter list. <laughs> but again, I'm thrilled at the enthusiasm you all show for getting involved. Ugh, we had the scope. So that's the dorsal press and sit back down. You're gonna go thread the needle next. So make sure some of you tap your elbows together. If you're preaching to the choir in this video because you are definitely mobile enough to do these things well. Oh, that's the bad side, I'm gonna start with the good side. Morning from Scarlett and Michael and morning from Henna. Good morning, Scarlett, Michael and Hannah. The way I'm going about it, people are going to start pacing their good mornings. <laughs> oh, so six on one, six on the other. But again, I've found if you start to feel a bit tight, you get a bit of stretch, you get bonus stretch if you try and tap your elbows together here. So down, reach across, and then go up. Just again, make sure that if you are against a wall, you're not going to lean and bump it so you don't need to cross yourself. Uh, then it's classic walk out into leg swing. Morning, don't forget the scat press. I want to see if anyone remembers. On scat press I did say that you're warming up a muscle that's here and I did say the name on Monday. So I'll see if anyone can fire off what is this muscle called because I'm just curious. I'd love it if one of the youngest ones gets it. <laughs> so walk out, touch your toes, keep your legs straight. I actually found if you don't go quite all the way, you can keep more of the stretch in your hamstrings and calves. So if that's what you think needs to work today, make that call, try and sink down. Morning from Kira, morning from Lily Johnson, morning from Pranas. Uh, Lily, Kira, Pranas. Morning from Scarlett, Sp Sophia and Danny. Scarlett, Sophia and Danny. Morning from Harry, Ella, Robin and Jamie. Harry, Ella, Robin, Jamie. Four. Oh, we're reaching new heights. You guys are getting fitter and my memory is expanding. <laughs> so, leg swings. Not the greatest shorts to do it in. But check with people in the room, see if you're getting the right height or if you're getting the same height on each side. Like a little flash of colour from your socks. Blur. Yeah. Such a rapid whip from that leg swing. Which again is actually a quite a big part of it. Again, maybe it's the enthusiasm, but a leg swing like this isn't really, it's just dangling, it's not really a swing. Whereas if you whip it up, build it up, go low and slow, you'll feel more work being done. It's always better, so. First couple, just let it dangle and then start to build it up. No one's remembered the name of the muscle so far. Not yet. 
I'll, I'll Get send your comments in, guys. Okay, so scat press. Right, we're gonna warm up this mystery muscle. Um, actually, no, you've got IYT before that. So IYT, I kneel, but I prefer you to stand. Squeeze your core so it's like you're doing a forearm plank and engage your hips. Overhead. Did it in the older ones as video too. If you go overhead for this, it's better to reach with your shoulder blades. It's tempting to pull with your hands. If you lock them into streamline and pull, you'll get more of a lat stretch. You're not trying to stretch your lats, you're trying to activate. What, well, someone has a guess? No, someone's uh, bees put through her bean game list. <laughs> and I'll read it out exactly as she's written it oh, when I get dear. to that. Okay, so remember as well, timing. So one, two, one down, squeeze. One, two, one down, squeeze. So really important you go slow on the way out because it helps your, your rotator cuff warm up. So scat press. Warning from Nancy and Rex. Uh, Robin says she has the memory of a goldfish, so <laughs> she wouldn't remember. Yeah. Robin, if I didn't think I had a degree dangling at the end of the road for me to memorise all these things, I'd have struggled too. To be fair, guys, I don't remember what he called it either, so... I can't imagine it. Yeah, maybe he uh. didn't actually tell us. So again, we're squeezing this one, we're trying to. Like, as you get older, you look at like some of like, the more elite like swimmers, or lotus if you go overhead, boxers as well, like overhead throwing athletes. It helps stabilise the shoulder blades, so you'll see it like there. It's called your serratus, it's your serratus muscle. Um, Sounds like a dinosaur. Remember that? <laughs> yes, yeah, serratus. Um, not leviosa. <laughs> um, that's it. Bean game. Time to go. Um, what we're saying, drink, clear space. Don't kick anyone, don't break anything. There's a lot of love for your socks again. Oh, they're already, they're actually different. Yeah. Yesterday it was the orange ones. Yesterday it was the, no, what was it? Argyle. Oh, Argyle. yes. Oh, yeah. Um, Are you ready for B's list? No, but let's do it anyway. And I love the comment she put at the end of her. <laughs> but she knows she's been cheeky with it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. All right, warm up time. Let's get you, get you trained and then get you all off the school. Three, two, one, go. A little jog. Are you ready? Well, a little 10 seconds of jogging and then read it out now. So. You're going to be going runner bean. One at a time, so I don't forget. So runner bean, guys. Yep. String bean. Broad bean. Baked bean. Jumping bean. And now I'm a happy bean. <laughs> You're a happy bean, like. Yeah. Okay. Anyone else? No, no, just bean so far, but I think that's uh, great. Okay, then we'll go with jumping bean. String bean. Baked bean. Runner bean. Okay, we've got string bean, broad bean, string bean, broad bean. That's from Pranas. Thanks, Pranas. And then we've got runner bean, broad bean. Uh, two, one. Jumping bean. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you said two, one. <laughs> I think my brain's gone. I'm really having to stop and think. Right. Are you doing another round? Yeah. Yeah, cool. So I'll see where I got up to now. Go for it. Three, two, go. Right, so string bean. Go. And then we've got runner bean, baked bean. And then from Cara, we've got uh, string bean, baked bean, string bean. Baked bean, string bean, car, <laughs> baked bean, <laughs> string bean. That was a good one, Cara. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one's funny as well. Right, uh, broad bean. Then we've got jumping bean, string bean, baked bean. The next comment is baked bean, string bean, baked bean, string bean, runner bean. 
I don't know if you want to do the next Relax. comment. <laughs> We're out of time anyway. Yeah, do you want me to read what it was? It yeah. was runner bean, string bean, baked bean, runner bean, string bean, baked bean, now dead bean. <laughs> dead bean. Yeah. <sighs> I think no one else looked at what the second was today. Mm. Oh, not that aerobic. I've seen you all done what I just did. <laughs> but you're all balancing with me, you hit the floor and just come straight back up. Sophia sent three suggestions as well. Thanks, guys. Um, we really do appreciate it. I, like, I, yeah. I banter you for it, but it does make it far more exciting. And I love reading out the evil ones. I think you should get Demi to do one of these one day. You'll turn the camera on and be like, hi, guys, go for, go for the live stream. <laughs> yeah. Hindu push-up. Right. Whole body strength for you guys this morning and then into aerobic conditioning. Um, I'm much more of a strength guy, so... This is fine, it's in my wheelhouse. You've got Hindu push-ups in reverse plank and then split squat. So I'm gonna go as soon as we can. <laughs> um, grab your drinks. We're gonna go as soon as I finish the demos. So Hindu push-up, the downward dog, uh, dorsal press, reverse plank. Pranas has retired beam this morning. Oh, I'll bet Pranas all those, that shift you've been putting on, on Twitter. And then split squat again here. So I hope you everyone's kind of on the same page now. Go down, knee just off the floor, then back up and switch. Off we go then. Have a drink. Three, two, one, go. So we're going from downward dog. We basically go press a plank, push your hands forward, and then drive. Dive bum into a dorsal press and then push. So, in that position, if you have your feet against the table, you're driving your hands like that, like you're trying to break the floor away from you to make this position really strong. Which, if you remember, is what those wall holds you were doing yesterday. You're trying to create strength all along your body. You have 10 seconds left, smaller ones should be stopping, but then. You need a lot of shoulder stability to go like that oh, and then stuff. So whether you can hear in the video or not, my shoulder and collarbone start clicking like mad. I'm trying to transition, but again, it's controlling body um, through your shoulder. You then do reverse plank in three, two, one, let's go. So if you imagine a glute bridge, Oops. feet on the floor, it's actually easier for some people, you guys might be all right, to go single arm because your upper back isn't gonna restrict you. But if you are restricted, I think having more parts of your body on the floor is slightly easier. So if you go up, toes off the ground, squeeze your hips. So if you look from here, my hands are just that side, shoulder width apart, but I'm really pushing. So that's a fire underneath you. You're just trying to lift your hips up high and then relax. So you almost want like a table. So someone should let your parents should be able to eat the breakfast off you. Like, <laughs> pull up a chair and keep that really strong like you would on a normal plank. Split squat. Three, two, one. And we're gonna go. So 20 seconds on one leg. So you can control your tempo. Two down, one pause. So one, two, pause, one. Two, one, two, three, four, five, and we'll switch sides. Tegan says hi. Hi Tegan. Well, the running's going well. Mm -hmm. You're still like dragging your mum and dad behind you. One, two, rest. One, you know, all the stability and control that you've got. And make sure your feet are positioned evenly. So if I go from that and switch, it's always the same. Relax there, round one is done. Congratulations, you've got two more and then a long break. So make sure you have a drink. Another 15 seconds. I'm gonna just go through maybe one or two alternatives to the uh, Hindu push-up. Some of the more advanced ones. Two, one, let's go. 
So everyone try to crack on with that again. If you want to try and develop a pike push up, you can go from here and then just push down and back. Good morning from Dimitri. Good morning, Dimitri. Oh, I hope you're having a great day. Oh, like that. So if you imagine, again, a long bridge and a build your handstand, being able to push that way, the difficult bit is staying behind so that it doesn't become a normal push-up. So when you try to push your hand away, for your body to relax. I talked to you too long. Reverse plank. So reverse plank in three, two, one, go. The sword of stand for it. There, he's trying to build a hamster cage out of a unit. Not trying, succeeding. Succeeding. <laughs> I've got the splinters to prove it. Yeah, sure. I'm just fine. We don't have to hoover because I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll around it. Take it all up. <laughs> so yeah, like I said single arm one's fine, but a single arm bridge is a pretty good warm up tool. So you're more inclined to do that. Pretty good shoulder stability. But I kind of want this exercise to be about hip engagement and steady core. So this. When you do a forearm plank, you're trying not to arch your back by using these muscles to stay strong, relax. That one, you should really start to feel your hips really start to fire up. Lovely. And I said really twice because it's such an emphasis. And split squat. Two, one, let's do it. Tegan says, running is getting hard because me and my dad have quad injuries. Oh no. Bless. Give me a message out, we'll, we'll talk about it later if you want. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find some workarounds if we need to. See what you can do to help. Yeah, definitely. Nothing too brutal like ice baths, but hopefully we can think of something. The same goes for anybody. If you start picking up little niggles again, I've been getting one or two emails from people that are just changing up what they've done. Because really, you know, injuries are annoying more than anything. In yeah, 10 seconds, I think posture is the most important thing. So if you imagine if someone was holding like a custard pie, you know that those clam, clam things relax. If someone was holding a custard pie in front of your face, you wouldn't want to go squat. And, well, I feel like we should demonstrate that properly one yeah. day. Yeah. Oh, custard pie, you know those games I'll where you have to hit the button and then the hand goes. I'll hold a custard pie in front of your face, that's fine. I can be trusted not to do it. I feel like we should, uh, we should have a store room for them, we'll get a fridge. And, yeah. Uh, SSP. So if I need to try and teach that, I can just get one out. And yeah. Like, yeah, go on. <laughs> <laughs> Two, one, let's go. So I think I've put pipe press ups on before. I've definitely tried to teach them before, but it takes a lot of strength. So if you want to use today as an opportunity to try and develop it, go into your um, downward dog. So if you imagine where you were going to have your hands for a headstand, that's your finish. Hips in the air. And then try and push from there. And um, so they are bowling and putting gel on them at the moment. So that's good that they're doing the foam rolling. Oh, good, yeah. Ugh. And one more demo. Nope, I overran. Stop there. Reverse plank. Two, one, go. Let's know in the comments if you're struggling, guys. But I think normal form would be to try and have your fingers going that way. I'm doing it that way because it just feels like it's less pressure on my wrist. But it still means I can hold that position. You can try and go longer, but again, if you do that, it's still going to be a lot of core and ab work, uh, hip work. Just a little bit more hamstringy. So for this, I think it's better. You can get a lot of engagement there because you push your hip down. Heel down, your hips go up as hard as you can. Relax. So that's me in terms of what my hips are doing. That's about the closest I can get to being back in the gym with a heavy weight because you can get a lot of hip squeeze. That's really good for probably your hip mobility as well. If you can't do it, you need to work on this. So split squat in two, one, go. Thanks for all the thumbs up and all the love coming through, guys, as well as all the comments. It's really nice to see. Oh, massively. 
So even when doing that reverse plank, this is easier because you can feel your hips a lot more. As long as you breathe while you're talking. Switch sides, front long V. Whoop, not a fall. Not this close to the end. Once of all, it's been so it's been like at least a week since I had a blooper. I think. Me here. Control the fall. Huh. Time for one more rep. Stop there. Part one done. Little break. Part two, aer aerobic conditioning. So you've got everyone's favourite. Don't have to see me getting drinks there. Yes, I do. You go completely off screen. I'm just letting people know you've not run away. A cat. Oh, a ginger cat. Um, I actually have a twin that I keep locked in the cupboard who subs out every other exercise. Want to do that? Yes, see, yeah, I have to prove that that's what's happened. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Tracy Simmons says that we're loving the session so far. Good. I'm glad to do it. But someone always says it every day. Really like me. Cheers, man. I know. I know I'm on the right track. Yeah. Okay. You get all sorts of crazy if people want feedback. So again, th really thanks for for your input, Tracy. Um. I should probably talk about part two. Come just under a minute, guys. So you're going to go from men's and climbers. Again, alternatives. Um, if you start to struggle. So me and my old bones doing this. After a while, I start to feel it a lot around my shoulders. So you can go high knees or you can incline. So I think if you do other sports, like football and rugby, they try and teach these as like wall drives or accelerations, but you're still doing this. So have to think about your core. Then you've got lunge to high knee. No, you don't, you have star jumps. So you go from that, it's a 45 seconds of skipping, or aerobic, I mean, we could even make it a game. So much difference if you guys want an extra round of bean game. Mm -hmm. Pierce, put it in the comments or I'll call that out. Just something that gets you moving heart rate high. And then lunge to high knee. So this is your chance to try and keep that explosive effort. So here, sit down, lunge to high knee, and then up fast. Instead of being like, oh, and standing up again. Concentrate, control your body, explode. That's enough procrastinating from me. So we're gonna go mountain climbers after you've had a drink. In three, two, one. Let's do it, mountain climbers. So yeah, don't, I don't mind so much about pace. It's actually harder when your core, I think. Cause you're trying to support all your weight on three points of contact. Yep, people want it as a game. Oh, it's a game instead of uh, star jumps. You got it. Robin, Robin was like, yeah, it's a game. <laughs> Keep going, so I'm spent there. Robin has spoken. It is now going to be a game. <laughs> okay, two, one. Well, relax, wish I had my table back. I'm going to steal that one. Okay, so bean game again in five, four, three, two, one, go. 45 seconds. Big bean. Jumping bean. Hold bean. Yeah, just think then. Run a bean. String bean. Runner bean. String bean. Bake bean. Board bean. Bake bean. Huh? Jumping bean times five. Relax. That was from Kara. All of that? No, just that last one. Oh, the jumping that's... bean. No, the rest were from me. Oh, okay, good. The delay hadn't yeah. happened yet. For the film. For the Good point. Yeah. Okay, launch into high knee. Ten, three, two, one, go. So high knee, like this, load like a spring, and then up. So 20 on one, and switch. Big deep breaths. Open window if you need. 
more air in the room, <laughs> easier to do. A little hint. Switch, you missed on the last one. I did. <laughs> up. So if you find, you try and go, you can't get up guys, just pause for a little bit, wait, and then go. Are we doing another round yeah. of bean game? Of course we are. Yeah, so Two keep more. your comments coming in for the bean game now, and then they'll be in time for when we do it. Relax. Round one, part two done. So yeah, bean game, if uh, if there's a delay, make sure you maybe limit it to like two each. So if you want to post them in a round, do it. Hey, Robin and Jamie are giving you a, a circuit, lift, thing. yeah. If, we're, if we've got a lot of people come in, we'll do like a couple from each. Yeah. If we don't, then you're at the mercy of a, of a select few. So three, two, oh, one. Go mountain climbers, guys. I'm stealing Demi's tea table. Mm -hmm. Smushing my laptop. Yeah, we've got loads of comments coming through. Okay. So, five seconds left. Little mountain climber. Relax. So a bean game. If you guys sent a long list, what I'll do so that I can try and get more in is I'll do the first two from your list. Three, two, one, go. So we've got Petra's string bean. Then Robin and Jamie have got jumping bean string bean. Jumping bean string bean. That way it's two from each one. Uh, jumping bean. Baked bean string bean. That's from Cara. <laughs> Runner bean baked bean. Runner bean baked bean. <laughs> that was two suggestions. Uh, string bean jumping bean. And from Sam we've got uh, string bean broad bean. And then yeah. End of the round. Uh, one more comment as well. What was it? Uh, string bean bake, baked bean. No, it's string bean board bean. Sorry. <laughs> Lunge and high knee. Two, one, go. Oh, I'm going to Down. Switch. Your last broad bean look more like a sumo stance. <laughs> <laughs> oh. no, I don't think I have to worry about that with these videos. <laughs> the amount of them going, I couldn't write. Warm ups. That's exciting. So, again, posture, posture, posture. Remember that custard pie waiting to hit you in the face. Nice and tall. Drive. 10 more seconds. So, feet down. Uh, knee and heel in line. Big push. And then stop. One more 30 second round. Or rest. Into part three. Again, that's why mountain climbers tend to be quite high up on a warm up. So you're not so worried about keeping this steady, it's more about getting your lungs going and holding that tight. We've got five more seconds, guys. Comments in. If you don't, if you don't have to demi, no one wants that. <laughs> three, two, uh, one. Excuse me, I'm Pretty sure people like Cara and oh, who the other girls that did the amazing big circuit for you? Yeah, see, they like my suggestions. I want to know how much Demi's paying you all on the side. <laughs> I'm making a free cake. <laughs> okay, five seconds. Two, one. And the Go. meaner the circuits are. Oh yeah. no, because when all the young ones come back, if they come back. It's all a chocolate cake? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Two, one, do your worst. Okay. So we have got string bean, broad bean. Oh no, that's it for now, so it's down to me. Yep. Big bean. Jumping bean. Ah. <laughs> Big bean. 
runner bean. Okay, so we've got jumping bean, baked bean. See, someone else is on my level as well. <laughs> Jump into a lie down. Broad bean. String bean. Uh, baked bean, runner bean. String bean, baked bean. Relax. <laughs> I think we've broken him, guys. Lunge into high knee. Okay. Broken bean. Three. Broken bean. Five seconds. Two. One. Go. I'll jump in the side, though. You just want to make sure no matter how tired you are. Still push you got through. a really, really big push. So there. Take your marks. Then you're kicking forward. So here, ah, big drive. You start to get, like you're starting to struggle, and dragging your foot. Just take a quick breather. <laughs> take your feet. Take your marks. Go. Switch sides. Grace says, "Yes, Demi, we win." <laughs> you won. <laughs> yes, we did. Unfortunately, the prize is that Demi takes over the the, the videos. <laughs> Just doesn't know it yet. I'll be behind the camera in a full body cast. <laughs> <laughs> and stop. Bravo. Yeah, really great job today, guys. So she's taking the time to film the comments. Yeah. In the middle of your session, so really well done. Thanks to the parents. Couldn't do it without you. Yeah, it's a really nice team on this uh, live stream. Everyone's always really interested. The joke's on it's you. Great. I will cover more because I'm not trying to. So I'm just doing, I'm not trying to do and talk. <laughs> it's fine, I've recovered fully. Yeah, but yeah, well, Demi's alright, it's fine. Yeah. The chair's nice and warm. Yeah, chair, <laughs> blanket, cup of tea. Anyway, aerobic conditioning, as always, stick with the usual. This to me now, for you guys, you should be so fit and so capable and so wise that this is like the pre cool down. I know a lot of you have to shoot off and go to school, but for me, this is just 30 seconds, like, is it, is it broken? Is it still attached? Can I still feel that? Your quads. Um, yeah, so, right, so earlier on, I think, we just finished the second part of the session. I got to about here, I had to get my heel up, I had to like, lift my knee, so I just left it. And concentrated on that, think about that reverse plank, squeezing, because when you get tired, you know, when you're trying to do kicks, as soon as your hips get tired, you use your hamstring and bend your knee, and same here, you also have to bend your knee to get kicked from there. So if you're tired, but you can still get a really big squeeze in your hips, it's a good sign. It means your brain knows how to compensate the way you want to. Um, I was going to do a sitting down double leg stretch, but you all, you all chose to punish me, so I'm going to punish you. <laughs> no, I'm going to challenge you to engage with your cool down. So block stretch, block stretch, block stretch, block stretch. So best one, honestly, best one you can do. So you're tired. You've never you know, go into a race having just done this, but you can practice that straight back. Really drive that knee backwards. See if you can reach the ground. Oh, we're gonna do it. Just about. And switch sides. So we've got. So if I can do that, having just done all of this, it means I'm probably a bit more mobile than I was a few weeks ago. So that's what you want the learning to be. It's actually harder if you think about when you, I start from the ground when I'm teaching this one, but when you get on the block, you'll start here, don't you? So set your feet up, go with that flat back, so I count the A, that Steve's been working on with you, as low as you can. Thank you from Manon. Hold it. You're welcome, Manon. Woohoo, Have a great I'll day. add dead bean next time from Cara. That's the only thing that's changing next week. Everything's the same, but sleeping lines is going to be the uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, and the, the warm up. Okay, um, relax. Another thank you. So weirdly, if I have laughed at the idea of me swim, being a swimmer, but that's always easier for me than that. My left hand is more mobile. Whenever I want to do demonstrations, it's always that way. So it's the same as you, exactly the same as you guys. So bear that in mind. Yeah, hip stretch, standing, doing body awareness under under. The T, left hip, go right foot across, push your hips at the camera, make sure you don't lean forwards or backwards. 
Uh, today I feel more tired than I usually do. That bean game is fun but deadly from Robin. <laughs> it really is. Yeah. Uh, the bean game is so tiring from Danny and Sophia. Thank you, Jordan. Great session. Can't wait for the next one. Great session. Thanks, Jordan, from Sienna. So it's sides. Okay, guys, have a really great day. Make sure you really think about your cool downs. We have showers. Use foam rollers. If you want to make the most out of trying to be athletic and stay in one piece, you've got to do more than static. You've got to do this and the foam roll and the squeezy work. This one, to a little point, if you do this and flop, it has more of a, like a, a stomach or a core stretch. But if you want to make this one hippy, keep your shoulder, so imagine you're doing this against the wall. If I do it here, if I lean too much, it's all trunk up against the door. You have to push your hips. Uh, thank you from Edith, from Scarlett and Michael, from Harry. Lat. Uh, Using the door. From Danny and Sophia. Thank you very much, Jordan and Danny from Grace and Family. You're more than welcome. You really are. Great teamwork on the bean game there. I know it's harder, but it's actually more fun. Hmm. I think I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm safe in saying that. That if I, you know, if I just said, oh, you've got five minutes of star jumps, mm. no one would, everyone would switch off. No one would have fun and like no one would sweat, but you make it a game where you're challenging each other. Like it's more exciting to, see, to me it's spike. I'm like, you know what? You're trying to tire me out, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Oh, right, so I'm going to use the foam roller because I can. Bonus footage. So, do the normal lat stretching. If you've got one of these, and you want to learn how to use it, lying on your side that you're setting up for a side plank, use your hand to jiggle it backwards and forwards. I've done it in other videos. But for those that have committed to doing all that they can with that static stretch, and you want to build on that, and I really, if you want to stay as healthy and fit and capable as you can be, you need to incorporate this sort of work too because it it makes your body think about different ways of doing things so I'm going to lie down on my body sinking down onto this it's got a hole you can jiggle it a little bit you'll relax some more uh, rock backwards and forwards and then move your hand so you're not replicating stroke by any means but if you think about just moving your elbow little circles You'll start to stretch and you'll actually target different parts of the muscle. If you're static, you're going to stretch all the ones you can touch. Your fingers, they're actually going to start compressing and changing deeper muscle. Uh, other side. So, uh, thank you very much, both of you. Great session as always from Cara. Hope you recover, Jordan. I'm tired now. <laughs> well, I'll be having a nap, Cara. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Thanks from Charlie. Thank you, Jordan and Denny. Pranath had so much fun and is a happy being. That's good. Yash enjoyed the bean game and the mountain climbers. Uh, thank you both. Bean game is so fun and so hard from Tegan. Thank you, Jordan. Great session from Bella. <laughs> You've broken Sam's mum. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, as always tomorrow. You can, gotta, we've got to go again for one more day and you get the weekend off. And You've also got challenges. It's you guys that are sending in the bean game suggestions. Yeah. We know that so I'm evil with it. It's mutual disruption. <laughs> as long as you get a kick out of uh, hearing your suggestions and watching me do it. Oh my gosh. Okay, great bit of kit if you know how to use it. If you don't know how to use it, you're unsure, message me. I'm sat here all waiting. Just waiting for people to, to ask questions. Um, and again, I think we're at a place now where you guys can really start to dedicate some time to it. Make it a habit. Chest, turn into your chest stretch. So, Classic, if you don't have a foam roller, it's right under the, the channel I was talking about. Okay, so chest stretch, you know, elbow above, concentrate on breathing. If you have a foam roller, align it again, but make sure it's like this, so it's at an angle, so you don't want to be straight down, because it won't feel very comfortable. Because your muscle go, goes from here, up onto that arm, you're just basically making it match the same direction it would with the others. So here, Relax onto it, start to move your elbow and your shoulder around. Just like before. So, here. So, babe, I think what makes the bean game fun is that we get to watch Jordan do it. <laughs> uh, yeah, and someone's agreed with that. 
Definitely. It's fun to do as well, though. I think every session would be more fun if uh, your coach was in the lane doing it with you, but then, you know, in, in, the, in normal life, you don't get as much coaching out of it. Mm. Um, but sure, if I, uh, if I had the stamina, <coughs> I could see me doing this. I'll get back, I will commit to anything, but if we're doing Maybe games every now and then do a bean game. Yeah. yeah, if I get a bigger bag, if I get one of those tier bags, mm. or really join the swimming community, I'll have enough, like, room to have two two t-shirts so if i come out of land training like, sweat on pool side they'll know why yeah um that's it neck and ankle don't forget those time management stuff with kate but again that was that was a very 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 quick tutorial but I need to make sure that we go through all the challenges and stuff uh i was going to say i need my phone like this we really appreciate it thank you jordan from cara uh, again cara like the more you guys engage the more i enjoy it and then I think that comes across on camera too. It's like the more energy I have to give back. So it's 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 very, very genuinely like a two-way thing. So please stay engaged and have a great day. Uh, endurance test. So after all that, um, you're then gonna get your metronome out. So that's the app you had last week. <coughs> Excuse me. So 60 beats per minute, which equates to one tick every second. Push-ups, inverted rows, double leg lower. So again, one rep would be from where you start to going back to where you start, so push-ups. See if you can beat your scores from last week. This is us just double checking your baseline, so like, like that. And you want to be moving the whole time, so I don't want to overcoach this one, but it's not start, relax, top, relax, because actually you're not doing as much work. You need to try and see if you can keep moving, and you just change direction on the click. Don't stop moving. Same with the inverted rows, it'd be like that. And again, this is a lot about, there's a lot of learning in this for you guys too. Um, I can't relate this to one specific part of your training, but the, the, more, the more work that those muscle groups can do, the more success you'll have in the water per session. So if you can do a lot of push-ups and a lot of rows, and you can do a lot of double leg lowers, it means that when you go through harder sets with your coaches, you'll make it to the end of the set. So think about if you've got a bunch of repeat hundreds, or you think about any part of swimming that if you think you hate, you don't like that one, that's the part you like the least. If you've got a bigger capacity to do that work, it'll become easier. And then you can think more about the technical bits. So trying to, especially when you go back, if there's so much time out, you're gonna to want to try and get your feel back. The fitter you are, the best you are at these tests, the more time you'll be able to think about developing that feel again instead of thinking about surviving getting to the other end. That's why we've written this way. Uh, double leg levels again, it's quite quick, but it's combining a bit of uh, back control too. So if you go quick and your back comes up, you're just trying to control that. So you go top, like tick, 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 tick. Doesn't matter if you have low reps. Everyone had low reps at one point. I can, you know, there's a point I can only do, only do 10 push-ups in a row, but it just takes time. Just commit to it and know, know what you're up to. Um, and then the time management stuff from Kate. It's only 15 minutes to watch, but you're gonna find a lot of useful stuff in there. Um, I'm, my main takeaway, again, is just about knowing what you need to do in your day. So, um, Lewis is a really big advocate of writing down what you've got. So I know a lot of you are a lot smaller, you don't have to worry about this, and it's better to help your parents like, take control so that everything gets done. But if you pick up little bits and pieces in your day, that's gonna help your parents a lot. It's actually gonna help you become a lot more responsible. There's a lot of adults, believe me, that are scattered. I'm one of them. So in terms of like, knowing what you have to do, when you have to do it, if you just write down when you're at school, you'll know how much time you've got. If you start to worry, if you're kind of prone to worrying about having all your bits and pieces done, you'll start to recognise it. I don't want to overcoach this one because I don't want people like... It's like with your homework and things. If you mm. have it written down what you have to get done, then you'll be able to manage it a lot easier rather than just having to try and remember it all. Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to pilot any one group, but I know I've seen some people that are incredibly organised. I've seen uh, the amount of homework that you guys do in Starbucks and I'm walking around uh, the sports park. It's amazing how organized that you all are already. But 
the, the big part about time management is it gives you a bit more control and you'll feel happier knowing what time you've got available. So have a watch, see what you take away from it. That was my takeaway. Um, but again, I, I keep bringing it up, um, but it's because I genuinely think it, it, it'll be useful to a lot of you, uh, whether you swim or whether you don't. We've got the last comment that I'll read out, which is, uh, thank you for the session, Jordan, from Yash. Hey, you're welcome, Yash. Again, I hope, you, I hope your stomach's recovered from the other day, whether it's from doing the plank or eating cake, whatever you ended up uh, doing on top of what you said. <laughs> That's it, I've rambled enough today. You guys need to go. Um, again, phone rolling, have a play. Enjoy the challenge, watch the video. And from everyone else at Guildford City, behind the scenes, we hope you have an amazing day.